everybody. Happy Christmas in July. This is what we're doing today, what we're using. It's called Galaxy Glitter by Deco Art. And they, this is not a sponsored video, but they did send me these paints to try. And my nieces came over last week, and so I broke out the glitter paint and they loved it. The Galaxy Glitter paint is pretty chunky has pretty chunky glitter in there. I guess because it's galaxy glitter, you have clear ice comet, that's this one. Then this one is extraterrestrial green, and this one is red nebula. And every now and then you get just a little bit of a hint of pink or purple in there. So what we're using is galaxy glitter, and you can see the difference in there when I turn them upside down. See, you can actually see the big pieces in there. I went to Mardell's last week for the first time ever. My sister-in-law took me and these were in the craft section. And I thought they were really cute. They're very light, lightweight. They're gonna make great Christmas ornaments. Or if you just wanna decorate for summer, this would, this would be very summery if you use the clear glitter or um, I think they'd be cute with a turquoise glitter too. Nice thing too about the glamour, well, all the all the uh, glitter paints. There, the paint part is actually translucent, so you could put any color underneath there, and it's going to look different. You know, a different color. You could put pink under that, and it's going to look different. Or you could put red under it, or whatever. All right. So this first one, I already painted it, and I just kind of globbed it on there. For this, I actually just squirted the paint onto the starfish and let it kind of drizzle out and I brushed it around. So that's gonna be my ornament. These three here are gonna be my ornaments. And all I'm gonna do now is get some jute. I was trying to decide between this one and this lighter color, but I like the difference in the color. That one was too close to the color of the starfish. So I'm not measuring or anything, just cutting a little loop. Um, I put all of these supplies in my Amazon shop. It's ducttapeanddenim.com slash Amazon. I'm just globbing it on there and sticking the jute to it. Now a lot of times I stick my finger right on top of there to push the string down. <laughs> Don't do that. You'll burn your finger. I know because I'm, I'm tempted to do it right now even because I want that to stick in there. See, I did, but it was cool enough. There you go. Just go out and get you some starfish and glitter them up. And now with these bigger ones, I'm going to make a, a garland out of them. And on the ornaments, you could paint the back too if you wanted to. I'm not gonna paint the back of these because I'm gonna hot glue them to some garland. And you could put it on as thick as you want. All right, there's one. Starfish have been glittered. The garland, I'm using this wired um, burlap ribbon. Use, this one is four inches wide and my starfish are like about three inches wide. And here's one that I cut but I didn't glue it yet. So I'm going to measure the same length from here to here and then I'm just going to fold it over the piece of jute. So just measure like that. And I'm going to do three since I have three starfish left. You could do as many as you wanted to. I've used this for a Valentine garland and cut red felt and just put red felt hearts on there. And the first time I just folded it over and cut it from the edge to the center, but I want every one of them to be exact. So from 
for these, I'm going to cut it, just kind of follow what I cut before. These are not my good scissors either. I want y'all to realize that when you're cutting a ribbon, wired ribbon, don't use your good scissors. These, look, I got them at a garage sale. No, I got them in a thrift store for 50 cents. Um, they're not very good scissors. I can see why somebody would have gotten rid of them, but I needed some that, um, that I could kind of abuse like this, that I can cut. I use these to cut um, fake flowers, like that have a little wire in them, almost like wire cutters. And I don't have to worry about them keeping them sharp because I caught, they cost 50 cents and I've had them already for like five years. So I like vintage rusty stuff. I don't like sparkly new stuff. And, and that's just kind of me too. My, I'm not a sparkly person. I do like combining glitter and rustic. So I guess that's why with the glittered starfish, I'm using a kind of a rustic um, burlap to put it on. So that kind of balances it out to me. All right, and since I have three, I'm gonna my string and find the center of it. And I'm gonna try not to get paint. I've been painting several different things and I'll show y'all in a minute. I'm hoping I'm not getting um, blue paint all over this. All right, let me pull this up. I'm gonna squirt a line of glue in there and then push it down with something other than my finger. <laughs> All right, so that held on pretty good there. And it's the wire is just kind of naturally bending because it's been on that roll for so long. All right, so I'm gonna glue, glue those on. Okay, now Tuesday I told you that E600 was one of my favorite glues. In this case, the hot glue is gonna work fine because it's got more texture. Um, hot glue doesn't work good on slick surfaces, but with a texture like this, it's gonna work really well. But just be careful. I mean, if you, if you didn't have a glue gun and you wanted to use E6000s for this, you could. But you'll just have to wait for it to dry. Like this is gonna be in like, 20 seconds, this is gonna be completely done, dry and ready to hang. So there's a bunch of different kinds of glue and there are different glues for different purposes. And I ran out again, let's see if I can squeeze it in there with my finger, yep. The one thing I do like about the E6000 is that you can move stuff like that's down there. I, I'm gonna, I, if I needed to move it, I would have to rip it off and I would rather not do that. So, and see that could be a Christmas decoration, but if you had like a nautical themed tree or beach themed tree or Christmas decorations, you could do these. You could do them in the smaller ones and hang it all the way around your tree. You could hang it on your mantle. You can make this and hang it on your mantle for summer and just put jars of sand or um, jars of shells that you've collected on vacation and stuff. So that is that. That's the garland. Here's the ornament. In case you missed, this is the one I used. Galaxy Glitter. The color is Clear Ice Comet. It is translucent, so if you put it on something, it's gonna, the actual color of the item is gonna show through. But I think it was perfect for these because they're gonna, it's gonna make them shimmery now. They're gonna catch the light when they're hanging on the Christmas tree. I'll hang this on my little tree back here in the back and I'll take it and I'll post that later. If you make one of these, I would love for you to share a picture. You can share a picture on my Facebook page, um, but it would probably be, be seen better in the 12 Days of Christmas Crafting group. So go to my Facebook page and um, over on the side or somewhere on there, you'll see groups and you can join the Christmas group and share pictures of all the stuff that you're making for Christmas, right? 
All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your comments and sharing. That also helps handmade businesses because the more you comment, share, and like uh, all of our stuff, the more people will see it. So we appreciate that. And uh, y'all have a great weekend. Bye-bye.